Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get guide listings on Windows Media Center past January 1st. So if you look at Windows Media Center now, you might get a notification saying that Microsoft will be cutting off support for the Windows Media Center guides starting January 1st, 2020. So this is how you can get support for the guide past that date. First thing you're going to want to do is visit a site that is www.tvlistings.zaptoit.com. And what you're going to want to do is first create an account with them. You press sign up or log in and press sign up. Now I've already actually created an account with them, so we do not need to do this. And another thing you're going to need to do is change your provider or time zone. So here I put in an example area code, hopefully you get the reference, and you press antenna, and local over the air broadcast, or whatever else is available for you. If you're using cable, you know what to do, if you're using satellite, you know what to do, and if you're using antenna, you know what to do. So the next thing you're going to need is a program called zap to xml it will take all of Zap to its guide entries and turn it into a file your computer can convert to be used in Windows Media Center. So you can either use Zap to it or tvguide.com, but in this case we are using Zap to it. So scroll down and select Zap to XML install.exe and press download. And this box should appear. Press save file. And as you can see, it's done downloading, and you press this, and you select zap to xml install.exe. Now, don't press extract yet. What you're going to want to do is, in this folder, C users, whatever your username is, downloads. You're going to want to create another folder by simply adding to the slash, and you're going to want to make that folder named Guide and press Extract. And that's it. So this dialog box may appear. Simply press Cancel, and you're good. Now, this is the complicated part. Press Start and type in C. M D, and you should see in this program section it says CMD and you're going to want to click it and you're going to want to type in C D space downloads and then C D space guide and then you're going to want to type in the following command Z a P to X M L. Again, that is Z A P to X M L space dash U. The email you use to sign up with the account. So for this example, I'm going to simply type in user at gmail.com. Replace user at gmail.com with the with the uh, email account you signed up zap to it with space dash p space and then the password for that account so I'm gonna go ahead and use my real account now to download the files and you should see a bunch of text pop up on the screen don't worry this is normal simply wait for it to finish and it finished just like that so the next thing you're gonna to want to do is download this program that I will put a link to in the description it is called XML TV to MXF Click on XML TV to MXF January 2013 and it should download. Save the file. Go into your downloads folder and extract it. And what you're going to want to do is something a little bit complicated. In your downloads folder, 
double click on guide, single click on XML TV, press control and then C. And press the back arrow and then double click on XML TV to MXF and then guide and then XML TV to MXF and then press control and then V and now what you're going to want to do is in this folder double click on XML TV to MXF config tool and once this is loaded click on XML TV NZ right click on it and select new script. Double click on new script underscore one dot XML and double click on input file and press backspace until input file is empty and type in C users whatever your username is in this case mine is user downloads XML TV to MXF underscore Jan underscore 2013 pause if you need to see it better slash guide slash X M L T V 2 M X F slash X M L T V dot X M L and it's okay if it goes off the screen and press enter and double click output file use your right arrow key to go to the very end of the entry and hold down your backspace key until it's empty and type in C users whatever your username is in my in my case it's user downloads and X M L T V 2 M X F underscore Jan underscore 2013 slash guide slash x m l t v 2 m x f slash guide dot m x f and single click on the word cache path and press the minus button and now type file guess channels from xml tv dot xml and double click xml tv and when it's done simply press the x button now again go back to your command window and type in cd space period period and press enter and then type in cd space x m l t v 2 m x f underscore jan underscore 2013 type in cd guide and then cd x m l t v 2 m x f and then you're going to want to type two commands which you can find in the description. The first one is xmltv2mxf.exe. Again, that is xmltv2mxf.exe slash i c colon slash users slash user or whatever your username is slash downloads slash xmltv to mxf underscore jan underscore 2013 slash guide slash xmltv to mxf slash xmltv dot xml
space slash o guide dot mxf space slash s c colon slash users slash whatever your username is and in my case it's user slash downloads slash xmltv to mxf underscore jan underscore 2013 slash guide slash xmltv to mxf slash scripts slash xmltvnc slash new script underscore one dot xml and press enter. I know that's a long command, but don't worry, the results are worth it. Oh, by the way, if yours takes a very long time at starting loop through programs, don't worry, it's normal. Okay, so it is done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run a command. And all this command is, is it's going to import it to Windows Media Center. Type in C, Windows, E Home, load, mxf.exe, dash I, guide, dot mxf. And when it hits 100%, it'll be done. Okay, so once you're in Windows Media Center, simply go to Tasks, go over to Settings, go to TV, Guide, Edit Channels, and click on each channel, select Edit Listings, and select the same name as the channel, except with dash XML TV and Z at the end. And that should be it. Okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching and uh, take care. There was a few things I forgot to mention. The first thing is that you have to repeat what I just did here for every single channel. And the second thing is, is that the media center guide, you know, the guide that you just implemented, will only be good for a week. So in the next tutorial, in part two, I will show you how to uh, automate it. So yeah, make sure to stick around and stay subscribed for that. Like this video if it helped you get a guide past January, and yeah, stick around for that. It'll be coming out very soon. Or else I didn't do my job, because I really need to get that out really soon after this is done. Not my normal two weeks. <laughs>